Well, Saudi Arabia is, I don't have a very positive opinion, obviously, about Saudi Arabia. And they're systematically destroying Islamic history. So it's not just the Starbucks. It is an example of the dissonance, of course, which is kind of enormous that it's so close to the Kaaba. But there's so much more going on around this, this idea of the destruction of the history of Islam and building on top of that, which they are consistently doing. While they're doing that, they're also carrying out beheadings on a regular basis um, in all of their major cities. Uh, they do not give women the right to drive or to even come out unchaperoned. They have the most abysmal, if any, uh, human rights record, in, uh, and no one questions them. Uh, so, so I hope this film says something to that. Yeah. I think we'll take a few more, or maybe uh, one or one to three. Um, yeah, I was just wondering what you just said. I felt what's lacking in this film, which is very interesting, is that you didn't really articulate more your critique of Wahhabism. As I was saying, you know, what you're saying now, you know, all these things you're doing, but this doesn't this really come across, you know, except for symbolic elements, you know, in this film. Yeah, I could have gone further with that. Yeah. Uh, during the editing process, we discovered that it was very important to have a personal story and build a narrative around a person, in this case me, the filmmaker, who you would be interested in enough so that you would want to go on the journey with them. And it's a deeply personal journey. So that's the first level of the film and that's the most important. <coughs> and I think, yeah, I could have gone on and on about the Wahhabis, but there's only so much I could do. Yes. Um. I really got the sense of that this whole physical journey was a mirror of your personal journey. I mean, just the difficulty just reminds me in general. Uh, your, just the difficulties that you had to go through physically were the same thing that you went through. And that um, statement you made about the acceptance of Islam was sort of just pulled it together for me, that that's what it was about. It wasn't about you being accepted for you being good and accepted, because we all have a choice. And then that also spoke about the way um, Islam has been hijacked by different people, different groups, and interpreted in a way that's so against what the religion should be about. You're right. <laughs> and uh, that's exactly what I'm trying to do with this film. Uh, I wish I had a chance to talk a little more about ISIS, for example, because the ideology that ISIS swears by is actually coming from Wahhabi Islam. And I wish I had made some of those connections. But if I had gone on and on about that, then it would have to be a different film. Um, and I think, so we needed to achieve a mix of the personal and the political. Right. I think we'll take one more question over here. Yeah. Great film. I just uh, there seemed to be a discrepancy though between your uh, number of times you talk about the peaceful side of Islam, and yet I mean throughout the film it's nothing but violence. I mean with your Hajj, the killing of the goat. Um, what exactly do you see that is the peaceful side? It didn't really seem to come across. <laughs> so. I think it really does. Okay. Yeah, maybe you you don't think so? I know. I, I think I think it's so. <laughs> Well, just talking in terms of cinema, for example, I, I think that lifting that happens at the end of the film with the Kaaba and looking at it again is beautiful and peaceful and mesmerizing. I think the faith that brings people there is, is very present throughout the film and that there's a deep respect, I hope, for the, these people who are on Hajj some of them have saved their entire lives to come and fulfill this, this calling in Islam. They've sold everything mm -hmm. and they know they're going there. They don't know if they're going to come back. So, so there's a lot of that in the film, I think. Uh, and I hope maybe see it again and you might find uh, a peaceful Islam as well. And yes, there's a lot of violence in the film. and. Uh, I did that deliberately because I'm in the business of truth telling and I was not going to show a Hajj that does not exist. 
because the Saudis have, in the past, there's a couple of films that they sanctioned about the Hajj. And I call them junket films, uh, which are basically what Saudi Arabia wants you to see. So this is different, obviously. Um, so I think we're all, we'll wrap up here. Um, so thank you so much, Prevez, for this. Thank you so much. Very